The main thing is the bean, how you are able to get what you need out of the bean. This weekend, February 7th through 10th, Caldi's Coffee Roasting Company is hosting the um, Midwest Regional Barista Competition. It's the first time the event has been hosted in St. Louis, which we're really excited about. We have 27 competitors this year. It's the most competitors that have ever competed in the Midwest Regional Barista Competition. You have 15 minutes to set up your station and prepare. After that 15 minutes is over, you go on and you have 15 minutes to actually do your presentation in front of um, sensory and technical judges. I've learned so much in that 15 minutes that I was up there. I learned how, things I can do to trim out time, things to, to make better coffee, better drinks, and just be an all-around better barista. The sensory judges will score on presentation and style, and most importantly, taste. And the technical judges will observe and score barista on technique and skill and cleanliness of their stations. First, they evaluate the um, competitor on espresso, and they look at two things, being the crema and the taste balance of the espresso. And then they go on and the competitor makes four traditional cappuccinos. These can be done in any order too as well. And then they score the cappuccino based on presentation, consistency of froth, and the taste balance. Well, there's a lot that goes into it, but the key that we always go back to is, was it in the cup? And what, the, what we mean by that is, was the coffee there? Was the coffee properly represented? You know, we're, we're in the coffee business. There's a lot of pretty drinks. There's a lot of milk drinks. There's a lot of um, buzz about those things going on. But the judges are trained to look for the coffee and evaluate the coffee. The rest are just um, accents, as you, as you know, with a, a cappuccino or, or uh, the signature drink. It's not just pressing a button and warming up some milk and throwing all the ingredients in a cup and serving it. It's, it's much more than that. And then after that, they move on to their signature, um, signature beverage. The only limitation they have with this is that you cannot use alcohol. However, anything else, the sky is the limit. And on this, they're judged on their creativity, presentation, and taste.
seven seasoned baristas competing uh, for the finalists. And those who win in the finalists are able to go on to the United States Barista Competition. From there, those who place are able to go on and compete in the World Barista Competition. I think what's really important about this event is that it brings a whole bunch of people together in the specialty coffee industry who are really passionate about doing something, I guess, relatively unique, trying to create um, the most perfect coffee experience that we can. This venue in the Midwest Regional Barista Competition in general is probably on par with the best competitions in the country. So you're gonna see the best competitors here that you'll find anywhere, east or west coast. You know, it's one of the best competitions there is.